Hi. Hi. You're terribly good looking. <laughs> Should look there in the I mirror. Said it. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we met before very briefly. We met uh, uh, maybe three years ago, I think the Golden Globes. Mm -hmm. I was presenting, mm -hmm. and I go backstage to look at the prompter, and they sent me outside to sit at a table for a while. Yeah. It was the, the Will, and Will and Grace table. table. Yeah. I knew no one. Yeah. <laughs> were and we you, nice? You were nice. I was nice? Yeah, well, yeah, you were you. nice. You were nice. You were really friendly. And you smiled and you said hello. And, and that's really why I'm here. <laughs> Aww, that is so sweet of you. Well, my, my husband and I were there, and I know that my husband is a, a fan of yours, and you guys have something in common, because he is a big furniture builder, woodworker, carpenter type guy, and I know that that's one of the things that you're, you're pretty fond of. I, I, you know, I'd probably still be doing it, except I couldn't make a living doing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and so the acting thing kind of came in the way of that, but it takes a lot of time, and I have less of that now, and that's fine. I have family, and, and, and weekends is about all I have, and I have a very limited shop at well, the moment. You, I, most of you probably know this, but Mark's been married for almost 20 years, right, to Pam Dauber. Used to watch her on Mork and Mindy. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you had you seen her on Mork and Mindy before you guys met? Oh well, yeah, yeah, because I was you know ten or whatever I was. Oh. No, no, I, was, <laughs> um, I just remember what a phenomenon it was. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, you know people on the radio were making jokes about Nanu Nanu and all that. And, uh, <laughs> and, and but I, I I actually I I had met her years before. I saw her on stage. I saw her uh, doing Pirates of Penzance. On, on, uh, oh, she replaced Linda Ronstadt on Broadway yeah. and. And uh, I actually went backstage to try to say, uh, you know, I don't know you, but you were great. I, I'm not, not really just to say you were great. And the door was closed, and I ended up talking to someone else and said, please just tell her she was great, and we missed. But years later, we met each other and, and started seeing each other. Oh, my gosh. And now you've been married for all this time, and you have two kids, two, boys. two sons. And uh, what do you guys, do you like to go off on little family vacations and things like that when you can? Because I know you've got a big work uh, schedule. Yeah, right, right now, the, 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 the off time is really about six or seven weeks, and, and, and we normally get out of town quickly uh, to some place where there's not a phone or there's not a fax or there's not even cell reception, hopefully. Isn't that the best? Yeah. yeah to get away from all of the emails and the phone messages. Yeah, just to kind of put a perspective back on a little bit. This town kind of takes that out of you after 10 or 11 months. And you're an outdoorsy kind of guy, I know. I'm an outdoorsy kind of guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, we, we're glad you got you in to have you indoors for this. So yeah, that, was, yeah, a, that yeah. was a coup. Now, I also know that you're a big sports guy because you were a big football star at UCLA. You were the quarterback. You were the quarterback of the UCLA football team. I love that. It's so great. <laughs> My, my, my dad was a great player. My dad was a Heisman Trophy winner at Michigan in 1940, and, and I just always had a lot of energy as a kid, and so I, I, sports was a, an answer for me. And football wasn't what I did best. I, it just happened to be the first sport of the season, and once I started playing, there wasn't much time to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And great memories, and, and, and when I first started trying to be an actor, it was all about football, and now when you say that I played football or something, people go, you did? <laughs> And um, so maybe that's progress. How did you get into acting? Because you probably, being a football player, I mean, did you, you know, know anything I, about it? Or? No, I didn't. And and, uh, and and I actually tried to get in the, you know, online enrollment class at UCLA, the acting class, and, and you had to do a scene. Well, I didn't know what a scene was. I didn't read plays. I was a jock, you know. And uh, <laughs> and and so I, I memorized Edgar Allan Poe's A Telltale Heart, and I went in and did like a monologue, and the teacher had no idea what to do with me, and I didn't get in class. Yeah. <laughs> um, get in. But, but it forced me to study outside, which is probably more valuable for me. But, but I think in the beginning, and, and sometimes there's just great bliss in being ignorant. Mm -hmm. And I was ignorant. And, and I didn't know what questions you couldn't ask. And I didn't know who you couldn't call on the phone. And I just kind of muddled through. I sometimes think that is the best way. I never formally studied acting. I don't think there are any hard and fast rules. It's different for every but different person. But you're so person. good. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I'm not being nice. <laughs> Have him back more often. <laughs> no. Now, if you hadn't become an actor, would you have, you said you couldn't make as good of a living building furniture, unfortunately. But I, just, I just couldn't get the job. Yeah. I mean, I, I could do the work. I it's... bet you could now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, somebody had it. You can have somebody in the audience, you can make them a dining room table. I could. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I just really cared about the process. I cared about the, the materials and taking my time and doing it right. And, 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 and it's okay, but most people want it fast. And, and, and then I'd get you know, bid by someone else, and they'd get the job. And 
I'm an actor, so... My husband does that. He, he does um, do custom stuff for people, but it is very time-consuming. He, you know, he's doing it over there by himself. It's not like he has a big staff of people. Does he need an assistant or anything? Yes, he would be thrilled. Are you kidding me? He would be absolutely I, I, beside himself. I, I kind of grew up in my dad's workshop. He was a weekend kind of carpenter guy, and, and, uh, and I would, you know, sweep up the sawdust and learn about certain things, and every once in a while he'd let me actually do something. And I'd mess it up, and he'd grab it away from me, and then he'd do it. But that's kind of how I learned. Well, that's how my husband learned from his dad. Mm -hmm. His dad has a shop in, in their basement, still has it. Um, now, you have, uh, you're doing something in my home state, in Oklahoma. You're involved with this really great-sounding charity. I, I, yeah, I almost went to school in Oklahoma. I almost went to you OU. Went to yeah, OU. and, and uh, I love Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And uh, years after that, I ran into a doctor named Orthopod, named Mike Wright, who talked to me about coming to Oklahoma sometime and doing a benefit for a place called the Children's Center in Bethany, Oklahoma. Uh, it's a maximum care center for children in need, and uh, he just kept saying, i got to get you there to show you this place. And, and the first time I went, I couldn't believe it, because I never had seen a place like that. And I, I certainly had never been involved in anything where every penny goes to the to the event, to the charity. Well, I'm glad to know about it. I'd like to know more about it. I'm embarrassed that it's in my home state and I didn't it's know anything about it. It's an exceptional place, and when you're home again, you should go should. and take a look. And Albert Gray will show you around there. He's an unbelievably qualified guy, and, and you will be amazed by what you see. Great. Well, thanks the for the do. tip. Sure. Now, you know, I am a recent convert uh, to your show and CIS. I hadn't watched it before this season, and I love it. There, I said it. Thanks. Love it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I I, uh, I I I love it too, and I, and and I and I love more than any of it. I, I I love the crew and and the post people and the directors and the writers and the people who I work with every day on that show. Yeah. It's a really it's a great it's done it done as a team effort. And, it's done uh, with a, a great deal of style. There's a lot of wit and uh, well, that's a guy named Bill Webb who, who's our DP, and, and and that's the way the show was designed originally, and the show has just continued to grow year in and year out, and now we're in our fourth year and doing well, and um, the cast does well, and we like each other. How about that? Yeah, like and it's a big other. hit show. It's a top well, ten show. Yeah, it is a top ten show, and we work hard at it. We we average sixteen hour days, and and no one complains, and we just do the work. Isn't that but great? it's it's nice to have one that you appreciate because it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I right? know. I know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> now.